a live broadcasting program from Xinhua News Agency, and I'm Musha in Shanghai. Here is the Taohe Jin Science Park located in the Songjiang district of the city. A fleet of travelers sweeper checks, said to be the first of its kind in the world, has put on trail operation here. And unmanned vehicles can self-activate every night on 2 a.m. to clean the roads before it dumping the trash and uh, returning back to the parking area. Uh, but in order to show more clearly how it operated, so we put the trail operation during the daytime. And uh, the cleaning truck can detect the traffic lines, the uh, road, road along barriers, and also it can deal with the other road conditions. But during the trail operation period, it uh, just operates at a very low and reduced speed at about 3 to 5 km per hour. And within the South Park, which is the designated region. And, uh, and today we invited Mr. Huang Chao, CEO of the company, to join our live program. Uh, program and uh, he can tell you more details about the check. Welcome you. Can you just make a self-introduction to our audience? Sure. Uh, hello everyone. This is Chao from AutoWise.ai. It's my pleasure to introduce our company and our technology to you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, our company was founded last year and we mainly focused on uh, AI technologies, uh, especially autonomous vehicles. Uh, now we have two prototype of uh, uh, trucks. Uh, both of them are uh, driverless sweeping sweep trucks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one is about uh, six meter long, and the other is the other is uh, three meters. Three meters. So uh, today we will demonstrate the smaller one because we are in a campus. You you have seen. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So later we will follow the driverless sweeper truck and to see how it operates. So let's go. Let's go. Well, here the driverless truck is begin to work, yes. Yep. So in the cab there are no drivers inside. Yes, no driver. So so the speed is very low. About, about uh, four kilometers per hour. Here, uh, it will start the sweeping. Just a second. Okay. Are there any high, te uh, high technology uh, inside? Can sure. Make an introduction. Um. So here's the man standing in front of the car, so it is stop. Yeah, sure. I think the first uh, is uh, efficiency, I think. Efficiency, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, one autonomous vehicle, I think, is uh, equal to about 10 manpower, I think. Or even more, I think it's 20. The car is about uh, 30,000 RMB and we add some uh, hardware on, on this car. The hardware total cost is about uh, 30,000. So the, the price is double. Sure, we have the plan. The, uh, since uh, you have seen, we have two types of uh, uh, sweepers, a smaller and a larger. Yeah. The smaller is uh, to clean the, uh, maybe the road of the campus, of the uh, factory, uh, and the park. And the larger one is to uh, clean the uh, maybe public road or highway or some, <laughs> some uh, a wider road. Wider. Yeah. And I think they, all the sensors, uh, uh, you can see that shelf, a shelf on the top of the car. Uh, yes, uh, that's our solution of a uh, total, uh, total sensor packaging. It's, um, we aim at uh, uh, production level. So uh, that means uh, whatever car we bought, uh, we can add this uh, hardware on the top and we a plug in our software and oh, it can work. That's great, yeah. yeah. So it can be suitable for different uh, kinds of cars. Yes, yes. And about the last one month uh, after the car operation, any problems? Uh, actually, it goes very well, but. Uh, um, uh, we still faced some uh, problems. Uh, for example, the, the parking violation, uh, just like that car in front of us. Uh, someone just left their car on the road. So um, that area cannot be cleaned. Uh, our system will record this place and inform the administrator, and then the car uh, is removed. Uh, we will clean again. Yes. Midnight. Yeah. Uh, why is this kind of uh, uh, Operating in the midnight has a lot of uh, advantages. Okay, now it's uh, <laughs> avoided. Uh, yeah, we stop. <laughs> we stop. Uh, uh, in the midnight, uh, we have uh, less uh, pedestrian, less traffic, uh, and uh, it's a relatively uh, simple. Uh, environment, so it's a very good uh, situation for uh, cleaning, and also uh, during the daytime, everybody is walk here, and they, after work they go to sleep, and when they wake up, uh, uh, all the road are clean. It's uh, a surprise. <laughs> Companies are uh, uh, developing their autonomous uh, vehicle. Um, uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> it is hard to say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, According to the expert, uh, experts, they say that China is in the industry still in an early stage of development, and we know that in Jiaxing there is a. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't agree with that. Uh, I think. Uh, you don't agree with that, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, someone says uh, Chinese technology is still in a very early stage. Uh, I don't agree with that uh, because uh, autonomous uh, autonomous autonomous vehicle is a new uh, 
uh, is a global new thing. So I think everybody, everyone is in a very new stage. Yeah. And uh, uh, the Chinese companies are. They have accumulated very strong skills, uh, strong technologies, and they have uh, very big data. I think this can uh, improve the entire uh, technology again. So apart from the cleaning tasks, which is also in China, we have the, uh, have you heard the uh, uh, jobless school bus? School bus? Yes. 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 A school bus is also a very good scenario for autonomous uh, vehicles, I think, because uh, it's uh, relatively slow and uh, it can be operated uh, first in uh, such uh, campers. Uh, yes. It's not only sweeping the roads, but also do some garbage collection. Oh. Yes. We haven't developed such kind of function yet, but we have a plan. Since you have seen, uh -huh. uh, Every time it uh, meets some traffic or uh, pedestrian, it will stop first. Stop first. Yeah. That that ensures the safety. I think uh, on the uh, development side, I think we uh, we do a lot of simulations before this car go to the real road. We do a lot of simulation. We build a different kind of situation and see if if our car can handle this. After that, we put the car on the real road, and uh, we have a lot of test testing, and then we uh, do some trial operation. That's uh, that's a step. This is a good photo. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a big circle about uh, 500 meters, and the speed is four kilometers per hour. Yeah. Yeah. Do 
all this huge check? Not yet. <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, autonomous sweeper, small. <laughs> now we have back to the star point, and it will have a self parking. Yeah, self parking. Yeah. Here we are doing reverse parking. Reverse parking. Okay. Stop the sweeping first. Stop the sweeping. Okay. Maybe we can have a look how it's uh, stop the sweeper first and then. How to back? It's very slow. Yeah. <laughs> Them, them. <laughs> really? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So, what about uh, the other sh uh, ship of the track? Uh, the bigger one. I see in our one? office. Let's okay. go and see. Okay, so let's go. Mentioned that the power of the track is electricity. Yes. Yes. How long uh, does it take to recharge for one time? Uh, recharge is about uh, half an hour. Half and an hour. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is our office. Uh, so you you mean the big one or the smaller one? This is the bigger one. Yeah. Half an hour. You mean this one or the? Uh, this one. Charge. Oh. Uh, eighty percent. Eighty percent. Yeah. Uh, can it work? Uh, uh, ju just uh, stop. As you can see, it has a similar uh, shelf uh, on the top. This bigger one is target, targeting to the uh, public roads, but we are still we are still testing it on our own um, uh, testing ground. Testing ground. Not here. Mm. Not here. So I wonder if this part is for the trash. Uh, uh, sweeper and the this is a sweeper. Trash here okay. and the battery here. Okay. 